We're gonna start today's episode off by playing with Pika. She's done... Oh, she has a present for us. Chalky Stone. Thank you. Anyways, we're gonna play with her for a bit because she hasn't really gotten much attention recently and she deserves some. Hey everybody, it's Master 14 Welcome back to more Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. In the last episode... Come on. Uh, I believe, yeah, we, we didn't really do much because I wasn't feeling too well, and honestly, I really shouldn't have recorded it anyways. But anyways, we just explored the route that led back to Pallet Town. We made it back home, and we're going to immediately leave on another vacation. So, let's get playing. And speaking of vacations, I'm going on vacation next week, so there won't be any uploads next week. So, yeah, just in case you're worried. We want to go back to Viridian City. That's where... That's where the last gym is. We couldn't really do anything there before because we couldn't really access it. Actually, something that I should have done beforehand is... I should go through my TMs. And find out which one I want. Because there are some good moves that Bow and Arrow can learn. I just... Let's see, Dark Pulse, Mega Drain, Dream Eater, Deadly. Alright, Fly is good. Fly is a good stab move. Uh, I'm gonna replace Agility. Just so it has some flying stab. Fly isn't the best move, but I mean, it's not bad. Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse isn't that good on. Isn't good on bow and arrow. Yeah, most of these are like special moves that are not really good on physical attacker, attackers like Aerodactyl. So obviously we're going to rest our Pokemon. There we go. I also just noticed that all of them are in Pokeballs, because we kept this team for so long. So the next gym... Actually, the final gym. First, before we start the final gym, I want to rearrange my team a bit. I think that should be good. Uh, I'll explain why I wanted to rearrange my team in a bit. Oh, this leads to... That leads to the forest. Over here... Yeah, this leads to the gym. Huh. Why is the door locked? Open sesame! Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess that isn't gonna work. Man. Oh, hey, Mick. Sheesh. Say something you're gonna be standing there watching me act all embarrassing like that. Well, never mind that. So how many gym badges have you got these days? Seven? It looks like we're even. All that's left now is the Viridian City Gym. Same for you, right? But this place is never open. I guess we gotta tell someone that we haven't been able to get into that gym. But who should we talk to? That old man there? What? Me? I don't know anything... Uh, I don't know anything about a thing like that. Uh, of course you wouldn't. Sorry about that. We'll think it over ourselves. Rest of Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Let's see if he knows anything. I should have seen if we should have seen what the option was if we picked Pika. Oh, if it isn't Nick and Tracer. You two are both looking you know, a lot more grown up than the last time I saw you. And you have an impeccable timing, as usual. Let me introduce you to this is my grandson. Um what was his name now? Gramps, no one ever laughs at that joke. You, could you give her a break? And besides, we've already met. My own grandson. You're no fun. Yeah, yeah, sure, Gramps. More important than that, though. Nick, Tracer, you two did awesome. Huh? With Team Rocket. I never thought that their boss would actually be holed up at, there at the self-co. And you two managed to take him down. No, it wasn't me. Mickey beat... Ikji beat Jimani. All I did was help out a bit. So what? You and your Pokemon did the best too, right, Tracer? 
So, I got a little summon for you too. As a reward for your hard work, you got a keystone from blue. You put the keystone in your battle pocket. Oh, isn't that a keystone? A stone that can trigger an evolution. Transcends all others. Mega evolution. Mega evolution? What's that? If you have both the keystone and the right mega stone, you can make a Pokemon mega evolve in battle. Just one time per battle though. Pokemon will get powered up in battle and battle hard for you. Mega Evolution is truth of strong bond between a Pokemon and its trainer. Um, a brief poem if I may. When two stones are held, when two hearts become as one, we mega evolve. That was a very brief poem. The two stones, the two you should be able to use those well. These are Mega Stones. Venusaurite, Charizard, X, Charizard X, Charizard Y, and Last Dogs. You're gonna give, you're gonna take to the Pokemon League, aren't you? Give these a try when you do. Well, we don't have a Charizard, Blastoise, or Venusaur on our team, so we can't really use those. Oh, it isn't Pikachu. You wanna know what I'm doing? I'm picking flowers. I'm gonna make a bouquet for someone very important. But it's a secret. You won't tell anyone, right, Mick? Oh, that's right. Um, the Verdian City gym leader came back to the gym that last. That's what people are saying. You should head off to Verdian City. Uh, Pika wants wants to give us flowers. Anyways, uh, we can't do anything with Mega Evolution just yet, but we will be able to show off some evolution Mega Evolutions at some point. I did not mean to open that. There are obviously Mega Evolutions for other Pokemon that we have. In fact, uh, Aerodactyl, Gyarados, and our old friend Forgotten the Pidgeot can all Mega Evolve. So we'll definitely show those off at some point. But right now, we need to get back to Viridian City. Also, you can't tell I'm bad at reading things. At least, correctly. <laughs> also, imagine someone walking around like, I, like we do in games, like, but in real life, just walking into bushes and lampposts because they can't, like, walk correctly. Is there any requirement this time? Yo, Jam in the making! You and I didn't know who the Burning City gym leader is. The only things are certain. You recall if I challenged the gym leader because you have seven badges? This gym leader will be stronger than any of the other trainers you face. Also, I heard that trainers here are uses of ground type Pokemon. So yeah, that's why I wanted to change out my party a bit. Or, not party, but put different lead slots in. Uh, Gyarados and Oddball are great because they can hit ground type super effectively. And also, Gyarados and. Uh, what was his name? I, oh yeah, Aerodactyl. They're both good because they dodge ground types and sand slash. He's decent because he can also hit ground types super effectively, but because he's an ice type. But since he's part steel, he's also weak to ground. Huh? <laughs> we just bumped into that guy. All right, so where do we need to go? Pretty sure going up just leads us back out to the entrance. But I'm pretty sure we can... Yeah, we battle this guy and get through him. We can actually continue forward. Nitto King. Poison Ground type. Also, Pikachu isn't going to be doing anything in this gym battle. Uh, if you're weak to ground, you're... Well, not only is Pikachu weak to ground, but he also can't damage ground type, so... Yeah, Pika's going to be sitting on the bench this time. Alright. Well, I got off and I immediately got bat- uh, challenged by someone. <laughs> Tamer of Coal, Nidorino, 
Honestly, most of these trainers should just bank to a single Gyarados uh, waterfall. But I also want to save Gyarados for the actual gym challenge. Like, we'll obviously use him in this... We'll obviously use him to fight these trainers, but I do want to hold on to him for the, when, we fat, when we battle the gym leader, because if we send out... If we use Waterfall too much, we're going to run out of its PP, and we can't use it anymore for the battle. Also, right on, there is no way he survives this. There are no abilities in this game, nothing possible for sturdy or anything like that. Also, again, I'm, we're literally just encountering these people and I'm getting just assaulted. <laughs> The, the first ace trainer had a Nidor and Nidor King. Now this one has a Nidor Queen. Also a Poison Ground type, but I think their stats are different. Also, does it bother anyone else that Nidor King and Nidor Queen can't breed with each other? Like that just bothers me. Oh, Flinching couldn't move. Yeah, this one's not gonna go down in one hit. Crunch should be able to deal with this. There we go. Bone Arrow leveled up. Sand Slash leveled up. Lost your grip. Actually, yeah, we did need to go all the way around. I was thinking like, wait, did I miss something? But no, we did have to go all the way around. Doug Trio, this won't be a problem. And this is the last battle where where we'll lead with Loch Ness, because we, if we use his waterfall too much, we're not going to have anything left for the battle. It's a priority move, but it really doesn't do much. And Doug Trio's defenses are paper thin. So, yeah, just completely wiped this guy out. Rhyhorn also is going to faint in one hit to a Gyarados Waterfall. There we go. And now I think we'll start leading with uh, Oddball the Vile Plume. Not as fast as Loch Ness. Revive. That's always nice. We could always use revives. And yeah, now we can go this way. We went this way before, but we couldn't really do anything because this guy was in the way. And now, who, which one do we fight? I'll fight the... I'll fight the Ryu guy. <laughs> He said the Ryu guy. It definitely does look like Ryu, though. Graveler. This is going to faint in one hit. Four times weak to grass. There is no way it's going to survive a, a Mega Drain. There we go. It's... Yeah, I knew you could do it. Were there any doubts that he wouldn't be able to do it? Like, come on, this is... Yeah. I mean, that is a four times effective move. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the end of the gym. And look who the leader is. But first, I am going to... I really don't even need to heal him. I'm going to heal him anyway. Also, I hope you guys can't hear this really obnoxious guy m mowing his lawn outside. So, yep. The gym leader is Giovanni. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. 
It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. You mean you were holding back at the Silco? Once more then, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer! Has four Pokemon, just like the last gym leader. Leads with Doug Trio. And I lead with Oddball. Again, he uses all ground type Pokemon. Earthquake. Ah, uh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, not too bad. It's like a still at least two eight KO. And also, we're gonna heal. At, we're gonna heal back a lot of health. One thing I'm a little concerned about is, like, Vileplume, despite being a grass type, does not resist ground because it's part poison. Nido King. I don't know how much Giga, not Giga Drain, Mega Drain's gonna do because. Uh, okay, that's that's definitely gonna KO. Yeah, Oddball's not going to do much here. So, knowing that Nido King is definitely going to do another Earthquake, let's switch in Loch Ness for this flying type free switch in. It also free switch into Bone Arrow, but Loch Ness has a super effective move. Yep, we read the Earthquake. Now we just waterfall this thing. There we go. I believe he should also have a Nitto Queen. Hey, Lockdown sold up. Good for you. Nice. Ride on. You sent out a four times week. Pokemon into a Gyarados. Like, what is your problem? Yeah, no doubt that that was going to KO in a single hit. <laughs> so yeah, if you have Water and Grass types, which you're definitely going to have at least one of those, this should be a pretty easy gem. Yeah, he also has a Nido Queen. I don't think this will want to KO because like, Nido Queen's pretty bulky. Yeah, no, it didn't. But hey, we got another flinch on Nido Queen. That's the second time. We have not gotten to see a single Nido Queen attack because it's because both Nido Queens flinch to waterfall. And we beat Jim Leader Giovanni. That was truly an intense fight. Yet again, I am defeated. As proof of your victory, here is the Earth Badge. You got an Earth Badge from Giovanni. An Earth Badge makes all Pokemon obey you, regardless of how high their level is or who originally caught them. It is proof of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. And this TM. It gives your trainer a to challenge the Pokemon League. Yes! TM41 Earthquake! This is a great move! TM41 contains Earthquake. It's a powerful attack that causes massive damage to a massive trainer to deal damage to opponents. I made it a very long time ago, back when I ran this gym, far too long ago. I can't face my followers after being defeated like this. Team Rocket is, as of today, Team Rocket is finished. At least until the Let's Go Johto games are made, because let's be honest, they're, they're definitely going to happen at some point. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to training Pokemon again. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. Can I sit in his throne? Ah, that sucks. Cool camera shot, though. Anyways, that's all the time we're going to have for this episode. Next time on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, we're probably going to be heading off to fight the Pokemon League, or at least start going there. But that's not going to be until I get back from vacation. Okay, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, like, comment, and, and subscribe, as that that really help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. McMaster out.